Hi guys, welcome. My name is Brittany. This is our kids yoga class, one of our kids yoga classes. This is gonna be a bedtime yoga, so sleepy time yoga. You could do this even in your bed if you want to. It's gonna be 20 minutes with a brief meditation at the end. Very relaxed, very calming. Let's get started. Inhale, set high. Stay for the exhale. Everyone looks awesome. Hold it here. You guys got this. Hold for three. So starting seated. So from here, we're actually going to begin in a child's pose, but a little bit different of a child's pose. Your knees are going to be together under your belly. So you guys can get into it right now. And let's just get really small with our body, like a little mouse. Bring your hands back by your feet. Great. You guys are doing awesome. You girls. We have all girls today. Just like that, just nice and round through your back. Just let your forehead rest into the mat. Maybe you graze your feet with your fingers. Let your elbows relax and just start to breathe. So even though your body's really small right now, find all that space with your breath. Take a big breath in, big breath out. On your next inhale, start to rise up. Leave your knees together, just rise up with me. Shoulders over hips, just rest your hands on your legs, just like this. How do you guys feel? Good? All right, good. From here, bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart or chest. We're just gonna take a few breaths. So if you have a lot of energy, just see if you can slow your breath down. Think about bedtime. Think about unwinding, calming down. The slower you breathe, the slower your heart beats, and the more relaxed you feel. So just try to slow it down a little bit. Big breath in, big breath out. Now bringing your hands together, just start to rub your hands. If you're making a little heat, a little warmth, like you're starting a fire at camp, right? Keep going, just like that. Warm up your hands a little bit. Now bring both hands back to your heart. See if you can feel some of that warmth from your hands to your body. Take another big breath in. Big breath out, relax, great. Now from here, just drop your fingertips to the floor. Drop both hips to one side, let your feet swing out. We're gonna come to a seat, a nice crisscross seat here. Just rest your hands on your thighs, just like that. Take another breath in slow. Big breath out. Now from here, start to lift your hands. We're just gonna take some wrist rolls just to relax our wrists a little bit and then switch directions. Release your hands back on your thighs. Let's do some shoulder rolls. As you breathe in, shoulders come up. As you breathe out, shoulders go back. Just nice, easy circles. Any direction works. And then swap the direction. Shoulders back up and forward. Nice and slow, nice and easy. You guys are doing great. Pause here, relax your shoulders. And now we're gonna take some neck circles. So with your nose, see if you can make some circles with your nose, also circling your neck. Maybe you close your eyes here, I like to. Maybe not, it's up to you. And then swap it out, opposite direction. And then coming back to a relaxed neck, nice and neutral, take a big breath in. Big breath out. Awesome. Just when the music's ending, just when the song's ending. Send your left leg out long. Right foot comes in like you're making the number four with your legs. Now from here, let's take a big breath and reach your arms up. Look towards that long leg and just start to fold. Great job. And just release your hands down. And even from here, just let, your, just let your body decide. You don't have to go all the way down. Maybe you just bring your hands nice and gently towards your knee. Maybe you take a twist. So you can even bring your hands over to the opposite side of your long leg and just take a little twist. Release down. 
Doesn't matter if you're on the left or right. We'll swap it out. We'll do the other side. Start to rise back up. This time, keep your leg long. Take your opposite hand beside you and just reach your other hand up high. And just take some arm circles here, any direction. And then swap it out, opposite side. Great job. All right, let's swap our legs out. Send your other leg long, bring your other foot in. And reach both arms up high, big breath in. Look towards that long leg and just start to fold. Just as long as you're doing the other side. Just start to breathe here. Just relax your hips, your knees. Maybe you take that twist. Maybe you bring your fingers over to the, to the far side of your leg and take a little twist. Do you guys feel that? How does it feel? Good? Now you keep one hand down, reach the other hand up and over to the other side of you, and then reach that opposite hand up. Just taking little circles here, big breath in. Big breath out with your arm opposite direction. Great job. Come back to center, send both legs long, straddle pose, or sometimes I like to think of a peacock here. Think of your feathers nice and big around you, just like that. Let's take a big breath in, reach up, and then just let yourself fold. But remember, your body gets to decide. So maybe you don't feel nice and open today. Maybe you don't feel nice and stretchy. Just bring your hands in, just like this. And if you're at home, if you're in your bed, at the side of your bed, maybe grab a pillow if you're at home later or if you're at home now, bring a pillow under your hands or you start to spider your fingers forward. Go a little bit more. And then let's rise up. Come back to your seat, cross your legs. We're gonna rock and roll over to our tabletop. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, just like this. So we're gonna still face forward towards me. Good job, Emma, F forward towards me, awesome. Nice job, Liv. And from here, let's take a couple cat cows. So cow pose, lift your gaze, drop your belly. As you breathe in, as you breathe out, round through your spine, cow. Actually, cat, sorry, this is cat pose. Like that scared Halloween cat, right? Inhale, lift your gaze, drop your belly. Let me see your scared Halloween cats. Round, press the mat away. One more, inhale, lift your gaze, drop your belly, big breath in. Exhale, round. From here, stay in your tabletop. Step your right leg out to the right, or either leg, whatever feels good. Great job. What, just pick a leg, no problem. Now, keep one hand down, bring your opposite hand over to the side of your mat. So whatever leg is long, bring your opposite, opposite hand over, and then just reach your other hand to the sky. You guys look great. Let me see everybody. Sloan, awesome. Nice, good job, Ella. Feel that stretch and come back to your tabletop. Slowly bend that knee, bring it in. We'll do the other side. So send your other leg out long, press through your foot. Now, whichever leg is long, take the opposite hand over to the side of your mat and stretch your other arm up to the sky. You got it, Sloan? Or you can take a little break. Remember, it's your mat, it's your body, whatever you feel like doing. You guys are doing awesome. Slowly make your way back to tabletop one more time and take a unicorn pose. So I like to call this unicorn. You just make a little horn with your finger and just pretend you're a little sleepy unicorn winding down today. Bring both hands to the mat. Start to walk your knees forward in between your hands. Cross your ankles behind you. Come back on to your seats. So see, these poses are nice and easy, right? Send your legs long. You can do these in your bed. You can do these next to your bed as you're winding down, right? You guys feeling any calmer yet? Any sleepier? All right, good, good. So legs are nice and long. Just kind of pedal out your knees. Get a little of that energy out. Any last bits of energy. And then start to calm your knees down. Reach your arms up nice and tall. Take a big breath in. 
exhale, just fold towards your feet, nice and long. Let your head go long and heavy. And remember, your hands can rest towards your feet. Your hands can rest on your legs, on your knees, or maybe you just sit up for a moment. Take one more breath in, one more breath out. Start to rise up. Start to bring your feet in towards each other. This is called butterfly seat. So your feet are together, knees are out nice and wide, maybe a little rocking side to side with the music a little bit here. And then just start to settle down. I also love butterfly because you can kind of give yourself a little foot massage in your butterfly. So taking your thumbs inside your feet, just give yourself a little massage here with your thumbs. Feels kind of good, right? I saw a yawn. Lola's getting a little tired, a little sleepy, right? That's good. That's what we want. Yawning is good in sleepy time yoga, even though it might not be good in class at school, right? All right, so from here, keep your butterfly feet. We're going to start to lean back onto our elbows. Just see if you can walk yourself back and then come all the way down onto your back. Keep your feet together. Bring one hand to your belly, one hand to your heart. And just settle in here for a couple breaths. Nice big breath in. Nice big breath out. Just see if you can use your breath again to slow down your heartbeat. Slow down your body. And just notice how you feel in this moment. Notice if you have any thoughts. Notice if your mind is wandering. Just take a couple more breaths wherever you are. Bringing your knees back together. Just bring your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Nice and easy, all the way left, all the way right. Coming back to center, cross your ankles, rock and roll forward and back on your spine. Take a few more rocks, and then we're gonna rock up and back, all the way back up to our seat. Rock and roll over to your hands and knees one more time. Step your feet back, come all the way to your bellies. Make a little pillow with your hands, bring one cheek to your mat, and just take a brief little rest here. Maybe you close your eyes. Maybe you smile to yourself or to your neighbor. And then swap your cheek, opposite cheek. Making that pillow with your hands one more time. You guys are doing great. Again, you can do this on the floor beside your bed. You can do this in your bed. Coming back to center, bring your hands down by your ribs, down by your sides. Let's take a cobra pose. So cobra pose, you're just lifting your heart up just a little bit. Maybe a little bit higher. Look over one shoulder. Come back to center, look over the other shoulder. Come back to center, take a big breath in. Press back to another kind of child's pose. This time knees are out wide. Heels, hips are towards your heels. And just let your arms stretch out long. So this may be the type of child's pose you guys know well. It's nice and restful. You always have the option to bring your knees back together under your belly or keep them out nice and wide. You guys are doing so good. Take one more breath here, one more breath out. Start to rise back up one more time. Again, bringing your hips to one side, let your legs swing out. This time, planting both feet down, knees are bent. Just take a pause here. Grab onto your shins, just like we did cat-cow on our tabletop. We're gonna do cat-cow just like this. Inhale, lift your chest, this is cow. Exhale, round your spine, cat.
Let's take a couple more. Inhale, lift your chest. Big breath in. Exhale, round through your spine. One more to our cow pose. Lift up. Exhale, round. Come back up one more time. Make sure your feet are glued down nice and strong. Reach your hands forward. Face your hands together, your palms together. And we're just gonna super slowly, like a sloth, really slow, as slow as you can go, come all the way down to your back. And maybe scoot up if you're back on your mat, if you need to scoot up a little bit, no problem. Staying right here, hands by your sides. Feet are a little bit farther apart than touching. So if your feet are touching, bring them hip width distance apart. Big toes are facing forward. Palms are facing down. Just take a breath in, breath out. Taking a bridge pose. So inhale, start to lift your hips high to the sky. Breathe into your hips, your knees, your feet. Keep your hips up high. One more breath in. Exhale, release down. Let's do one more whenever you're ready, or you can take a brief rest. Maybe just let your knees knock together, feet out wide. Otherwise, lift up into one more bridge, hips high, hold your bridge. Eyes are straight up to the ceiling or maybe closed. Exhale, release everything down. Great job, bring your knees into your chest. Bring your arms out wide to a T. And then just let both knees fall to the right. Let your gaze fall away from your knees. So whatever direction your knees are in, turn your eyes the opposite way. Perfect, everyone's looking good. Sloan, Lola, Emma, Ella, and Liv, you guys are awesome, you're doing great. Bring your knees back through center. Keep your arms out nice and wide. And let your knees fall the opposite way. So whichever way you just were, go the opposite direction. And now your eyes are facing a different way. Do you feel this stretch through your back? A nice little twist. Maybe close your eyes here. And then coming back through center, give yourself a nice big bulldog hug. And think about, bring your knees into your chest and then give yourself a hug. And think about maybe how you would hug a friend. Give yourself that hug. Flex your feet flat. Bring your nose to your knees. Squeeze it all in like a little yogi ball that you guys are. And then exhale, let it all go to your starfish pose. Legs are long. Palms are out wide, feet are out wide. And just lay here for a moment. We will begin our brief meditation in just a moment. Just take some time here to relax, to unwind, to just think about the poses we just did, how your body feels. And just notice if you feel a little bit different than when you first got here. So beginning our meditation, this is a brief meditation, only a couple minutes. You're welcome to stay here, laying down. You're also welcome to sit back up if you would prefer to sit back up. Hands are down by your hips. Maybe you close your eyes. Maybe close your eyes here, feet can be out wide. Just take a moment here to start to breathe slowly. Bring both hands to your belly and just notice your belly breathing here, just like a baby. Notice how your belly gets bigger as you breathe in. Notice how it gets smaller as you breathe out. Bring one hand towards your nose and mouth just slightly above. Just one hand towards your nose, yeah. One hand stays on your belly and just see if you can feel your breath on your hand from your nose or mouth. 
Notice if your breath feels warm, if it feels cold, maybe it feels neither and that's okay. Bring both hands back to your belly. And again, just notice the rise and fall here as you breathe in and breathe out. There's no right or wrong. You don't have to breathe a certain way or feel a certain way. Bringing your hands back by your sides, facing up by your hips. Think about your belly here like the ocean. Think about the ocean under the moonlight at night. As your belly gets big, the ocean waves are rolling in. As your belly gets small, the waves roll back out. And think about the moonlight right now. Think about the warm golden light energy from the moon. Just touching down on your whole body. Think about the moon radiating down on your feet, your legs, your hips, your belly, your shoulders. Think about the moon's light energy on your arms, your hands, and then think about the moon shining down on your face, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. And just take a moment here to just breathe slowly as you think about all that warmth touching down on you. And maybe your mind starts to wander and that's okay. Just come back to your breath. In a moment, our meditation will end. And just say something kind to yourself right now. You are wonderful. You are special. You are peace. Start to open your eyes. Start to bend your knees. Roll to one side, pressing back up to your seat, back to where we began. Hopefully you feel a little calmer, a little sleepier than when we started. And if you fell asleep, that's okay. That's the goal, right? Bring your palms back together. Let's just take a big breath in as a group, as one. And then just fold, release, let it all go. Awesome job, guys. You did great.